All right, here we go. Episode one of the board game that started it all for me, Hero Quest. I played the Barbarian, and this has so many memories. So I have to paint it. I don't care if two people watch this entire series. I have to paint it. It's gonna be a long journey, and thank you for joining me. Thank you for our YouTube members. You guys are awesome. Thank you for so much for supporting this channel and everything we do here. If you're not a member, or if this is your first time watching, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing every miniature from HeroQuest. Without further ado, let's go. When I pulled out the miniatures out of the box, I immediately got a wave of nostalgia. My childhood came racing back to me. I was in heaven. These miniatures are exactly how I remember them. Amazing. The quality's not the best, but the memories I've spent with my friends and family playing this board game are. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape off some of the mold lines and we're gonna put an earth texture down onto our base and we're gonna prime it with black. I'm using an airbrush, but if you don't have one, it's not a big deal. Use some spray can paint from Citadel, Vallejo, Army Painter, whatever you got. And then we're gonna do a nice zenithal highlighting from above with some white, um, with a focus on the base. And you'll see why here in a second. And as I'm reading this, watching this, and painting this, I'm living my childhood all over again. We start with the base. The first thing we're going to use is Basilicanum Gray, which is a contrast paint from Citadel. If this is your first time watching the channel and you're learning how to paint, or you want to see how I paint the Hero Quest miniatures, I like to make things easy. So we're going to paint that rock in Basilicanum Gray and then use Agaros Dunes for the dirt. Um, for the base, if we can get a little bit of skating done, we will. Um, we don't want to focus too much on it, but we're going to do some some nice little things at the end to make it just pop just a little bit more. Uh, for a final contrast paint, we're going to use Militarium Green. We're just going to couple dollops here and there throughout just to kind of break up the brown. As we jump right into our base colors, we notice that the skin of our Barbarian is a lighter flesh tone. Now, typically everything I do for this channel is following the card art or art provided by the manufacturer or the designer in the rule book or online or whatever I can find. And for this specific game, HeroQuest, they provide cards for each miniature. So we're going to be following that card art to the best of our abilities. And this is what the base tone of your skin should look like. Now we're basically going to work from the top down on this miniature. We'll jump around here and there, but for the most part we're going to work from the top down. But the first thing we're going to do is the hair of our miniature in Abaddon Black. Next, we're gonna work on the sword, and that's just a basic lead belcher. Again, a Citadel paint, and I typically use Citadel because I started painting Warhammer when I was a kid. Next, for our gold pieces, specifically for the 
um, hilt of our sword for the lion belt and the uh, lion that is below our blade. We're going to be using Balthazar Gold. Looking at the card art, you're going to notice there is a red and a dark blue. Um, for this, I don't like to mix a lot of colors together. Um, I like to keep it as straightforward as possible. So we're going to be using some Wazdaka red and painting the red portions of our cufflinks, our um, barbarian skirt, or a war skirt, or whatever he's wearing, and some onto the ankle guards of our barbarian. Oh, we still have that belt as our gold out. We're gonna paint on some of that gold portion onto our um, wrist guards that he has on. For that left arm portion that's got some metal on it that you can see in the card art, I'm gonna use some Grey Knight Steel, but it's not necessary to use this color. You can use whatever silver you have. This is just more of a bluish tinge that I like to use. I'm also using this color onto the sides of the lion belt buckle head. For the right side of our barbarian war skirt, I'm gonna use some Night Lord's blue. I'm also gonna use this on the belt. I imagine this barbarian is just gonna wreck through some orcs as I did rolling hot sixes back in the day. For all of our fur pieces on our miniature, I'm going to be using some ivory, which is a Vallejo color. If you don't have this, it just needs to kind of be like an egg white type color. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just some type of white color. And for our shoes, little area, we're going to use some dry up bark. Now, I kind of imagine this barbarian in my brain when I read The Wheel of Time. If anybody's read The Wheel of Time, I want to hear your thoughts kind of be like Lan. Not so much like bare-chested Conan, but the size and the strength and the look of, of Lan. Now, I've been watching the series, and that's not how I really imagine Lan. Tell me what you think in the comments below if you've read that series and what your thoughts are. And for our final highlight of our base colors, we're going to just do a little quick dry brush of Dawnstone to get into the hair of our miniature. Next, we're going to start on our washes, and the first one we're going to do is Reichlin Flesh Shade. Now, Reichlin Flesh Shade is going to go, obviously, all over the flesh. It's a shade for the flesh. And we're not going to use this sparingly. Don't mop it in there, don't dunk it in there, but put a nice liberal coating all over our miniature. Don't be shy either to get it onto that brown of our sandals. It's not a big deal. You just kind of want to avoid most of the white portions of this uh, miniature and don't get it on the red or the blue. For our sword and for our hair, we're going to use some known oil. We're also going to use this on the fur. That's going to make that fur look pretty dark. And that's going to be what we want to give that depth. And we're going to highlight here it up in a little bit.
And our final shade is going to be Agrax Earthshade. And we're going to paint this on the rest of the miniature. All of our gold, red, and blue areas, we're going to paint this on. And we're going to highlight them up here in just a second. And as you're finishing putting up this wash on, why don't you head over to our Instagram while it's drying. Check out nerd.nights and keep informed. Subscribe over there so you can see everything that's coming up where I give you previews of miniatures and games that are coming up on the channel. And after everything is completely dry, we are gonna start our highlight step with the first one being the skin because that's the most tedious and longest thing to do on this miniature. We're going to take our original base tone, which is Acadian Flesh Tone, and we're going to start painting this onto the raised areas, mostly the areas that are sticking up. We do not want to get anything into the recesses where that shade has gotten into. We just want to highlight up portions of the skin to draw your eyes or the person who's looking at its eyes to certain areas, or as I call it, the focal points of the miniature. We obviously want to focus on portions like the fingers, the knuckles, a lot of that raised muscle just to kind of bring out that bulkiness of our barbarian. As we're working on the back again, we just want to focus on those raised muscles on the back. We don't want to get into those recesses at all, and we're just focusing on those raised portions. Also, do not forget the toesies at all, as they are another focal point as people are staring at his big feet. After you're done with the Kidian Flesh Tone, do a 50-50 mix of Kidian Flesh Tone and Kiss of Flesh. And again, we're just going to be working on the same areas we just did, but less. If you can imagine that you just painted on 100% of Kidian Flesh Tone, do about 50% on this. That includes the forehead, the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the cheekbones and a little bit on the chin, just to bring up that highlighting just a tad bit to kind of draw people's eyes to certain areas. Again, nothing overboard, just kind of picking out little pieces here and there to kind of bring up that brightness just a tad bit. But we're not covering everything we just did in that Cadian Flesh Tone, just about 50% of it. And as you're finishing up with the skin, you're going to take some Abaddon Black and you're going to paint two eye slits very carefully. Then you're going to paint some white into those black eye slits to make our pupils. And then once those are done, just put a little tiny little dot of black to make our pupils. Making it look, well, like our barbarian's got some nice little eyes. Next, take some of that Iron Breaker from Citadel and paint on a nice little scraping edge of silver onto our sword. You can use this on the other silver bit that's on the back side of his arm if you want, but I'm just kind of scraping it across there, not making it too bright, but giving it that nice silvery, dirty look. To brighten up all of our gold areas, I'm gonna use some Guinea Hana's gold, and we're focusing on the raised areas once again we're not getting this in the recesses at all. We're just focusing on the things that are sticking up, making it that nice, bright gold, barbarian, killer look. To re-brighten up our white fur that is sticking out, we're going to take that same ivory and all we're going to do is paint on portions of the exterior. Meaning if a piece of fur is sticking out, just paint the tips of it 
and a little bit down to the base, but not all the way down to the base. We want it to still look kind of dirty while giving it that nice, furry, dirt, nasty, I've been in war type of look. Next we'll do a reapplication of Waz Daka Red around all of our red areas. And for the skirt, make sure you just kind of get the edges. Do like a little edge highlighting on it. You don't want to go overboard with it. You can also do some of it on the raised areas on the back near the butt of our Barbarian. But you, again, you do not want to go too crazy. We're looking for that dirty look. We're looking for the same thing with our Night Lord's Blue. Don't go overboard. Paint a little bit here and there, mostly on the rage areas and on the edges of our skirt and on the belt, but nothing overboard. For the tiny little pieces of stitching holding our war skirt together, we're gonna to use some of that Baylor Brown. And as we finish up our highlights, we're gonna add a couple little small effects. I'm gonna take an orc skull that I got from the Skidadil uh, Skull series, and I'm gonna spray paint this with some Necron compound, which is Army Painter. Next, after that is completely dry, I'm gonna take some Skeleton Horror, which is a contrast paint from Citadel, and give it that nice little dirty orc skull that I'm looking for. Once that is completely dry, I'm going to take some Nurgling Green and dry brush it on just a little bit. Now, I imagine an orc's skull would be green because I think of World of Warcraft, um, Warcraft itself with orcs, and I imagine just that green, nice look. Next, we're going to take some super glue and we're going to put that thing on right in the front. Now, again, this is a completely optional thing, but I would just want to add to the flavor of this miniature. The Barbarian is an orc killer destroyer of death. That's what I want it to look like. Just any little extra I can add. We're then gonna take some dead tuft and we're gonna put some on the back of our miniature. And finally, we're gonna take some Abaddon Black and we're gonna paint it onto the rim of our miniature. You don't have to do this color, you can do a mechanic, a standard gray, or whatever you feel like, some brown. But I'm using black, and that is it. I hope you had as much fun painting this as I did, and you can't wait to paint the rest, because th this game is it for me. This is what got me into the hobby, and I can't thank Hasbro enough for bringing this back, and I'm so thankful they did it. So thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're a YouTube member, I love you. You guys are awesome. If you haven't been either of those two, hit that subscribe button. You got nothing to lose. We've got the rest of the series to go. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, paint on.